With about five weeks until the election, candidates are ramping up the attacks. But as Lauren Bly explains, what Arizona voters really want is for the leaders to find common ground. Tuesday night, we saw something a bit unusual in the vice presidential debate. Two rivals actually agreeing with each other. Our hearts go out to the families that are affected by this terrible stuff, and we do have to do better. And I think that Governor Walz and I actually probably agree that we need to do better on this. The question is just how do we actually do it? I've enjoyed tonight's debate, and I think there was a lot of commonality here. Governor Tim Waltz and Senator J.D. Vance did squabble over January 6th abortion rights in Iran, but they each went out of their way to show voters they agree on parts of policy issues such as gun violence, immigration, and trade. That's something Arizona voters crave. Over 90% say they're worried about political divisiveness in a new survey from the Center for the Future of Arizona and High Ground Public Affairs. A vast majority do not believe that our elected officials are focused on the issues that they care most about and are not discussing the topics that they'd like to hear about. Um, so much of politics these days is really focused on, you know, the divide and conquer mentality. This survey finds plenty of consensus across the political spectrum. About half of Arizona high school students continue their studies and 85% of voters want the state to do a better job on that. This year, the legislature made big cuts to higher education and 79% of voters put a high priority on that funding. Even on immigration, most support a pathway to citizenship and tougher border securities and want the two sides to come together. We found that not only do Arizonans agree on the big important issues like education, like funding for education, that we should prioritize investment in universities, that we should have a strong K-12 education system. Voters say they want leaders who will work across the aisle, even if that's not who they elect. In Washington, Lauren Bly, Cronkite News.